In chapter 4, we discover the curiosity about the golden segment. If an equilateral triangle is drawn inside a circumference, the distance between the middle points and the distance from the middle points to the external circumference follow the golden ratio or divine proportion. And this happens in three parts of the triangle. As it can be seen, there are nine points that touch the external circumference. If we connect those nine points in a certain way, we obtain a figure known as the Enneagram. Starting with the triangle and the golden segments, and using four of them, we can build a figure, a very peculiar figure. The figure contains a tetrahedron that has an octahedron inside, an octahedron whose side is half the tetrahedrons. It also has four external rings and 24 bars that connect the tetrahedron and the octahedron with the rings. we can embed six octahedra with sides of length 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 5. We end up with a figure that is unknown to me and I have named Divertahedra. A figure that connects the golden ratio the Enneagram, the Tetrahedron, and several Octahedra. The Tetrahedron and the Octahedron are two platonic solids. The bars connect the Tetrahedron and the Octahedron with the external rings in the pink points. The rings are part of a sphere. Closing that sphere, six pyramids are left out. It's the magic of number five.